Again, give him a day. Uh, so I just want to give him a day off today and uh, I'll come back tomorrow and be ready to go. He hasn't looked quite like himself here the last week. Are you noticing something that's been different with him at the plate? Yeah, he's, he's just getting underneath the baseball again, um, trying to get him back on top, um, you know, get, get him ready in time. So, um, but, you know, he's, he's done. He's done unbelievable for us. So um, he's, I think, the only guy I haven't given a day off to. So, you know, I want to give him a day. What's the balance like you were riding him for, for a good portion of the year to kind of provide a lot of offense? Like, how, how you balance that, but also like, give him some time to kind of reset his mind mentally? Yeah, no, it's good. Even though, you know, he, he you know, obviously he comes up to me and goes, Is it just a half a day? I go, We'll see how it plays out. But yeah, probably. <laughs> um, but he's been so, like I said, he's been so good, you know, and, and I, you know, I have to give him figure out when to give him a day and uh, a couple of days ago I said you know what Sunday would be a good day for him uh, we go back home and uh, we play in Milwaukee so give him, give him a day also so you made the roster move Rico on the IL and you brought up Amos what did you hear before Rico yeah Rico Rico came in uh, yesterday so he said he was a little sore he went through some tests and he's got a little bit of uh right uh, bicep tendonitis. So um, we called up, you know, we got Will Willingham here as quick as possible. So uh, hopefully we can knock this out, you know, shortly and come back and, and uh, help us again. But, um, you know, Willingham, I, th I thought the last time he pitched for us, he actually threw the ball a lot better. So um, he's getting an opportunity to pitch again today. What's the biggest adjustment you want to see Amos make this time? Yeah, just uh, yeah, everything. Just slow everything down, you know, and uh, attack the strike zone. I mean, he's got his stuff is good. Um, just throw, get ahead and throw strikes. When a guy gets sent down for the first time, I'm sure there's a lot of emotions that go through his mind. When you called back up right away, can that be a good thing or can that add to more thoughts swirling through his head? And what do you kind of try to do to ease his concerns? There? Yeah, no, I, I talked to him and I, and you know, and I, you know, I said, hey, look, you know, um, because of you, you're, you're still so young, you made such an unbelievable jump this year. Um, we're gonna, we'll take care of you, and uh, but be ready to come back. I mean, you know, your, your, your stuff plays. You just got to understand that you you got to be able to throw strikes consistently. So um, he's back here, and I told him the same thing. Hey, uh, best pitch in your in your arsenal, is strike one. So you know, get ahead of hitters and go from there. What went into the decision to go Vargas and left Dickerson and right? Yeah, you know, I think Vargas. You know, I talked to both. Uh, Dixon's played right field before. Um, Vargas feels more comfortable in left field. When you look at uh, Rowan today, he's been really good the past month or so. Like he's kind of starting to come back to the guy he was. What, what have you seen from him? And when you, you wish your line was playing to kind of attack him today? Yeah, we hey, we got to get him in the zone. You know, I mean, you know, he's got he's got he's got three or four good pitches. Um, Mostly, we had to get, you get 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 him in the zone, and be ready for the fastball. I mean, um, uh, but he's tough. You know, you, you know, he says, you know, everybody says he, he thought they thought he was struggling. This guy's been doing it for twenty something years, and he's been really good. So, um, we got to go out there and try to compete today. Going back to El tomorrow, if you could describe one word. Energy. energy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he brings energy. You know, it's and for me, it's a perfect day for him. And to really play, it's a Sunday. Um, but you, you know, like I said, he's going to give you everything he has every time he plays. And you know, I love him. He's engaged every day. Um, keeps up, keeps our bench going, keeps the clubhouse going. So um, he's a guy that brings the energy for us. You had been talking all week about wanting to see better at bats early in games, and you got that last night. How do you sustain that kind of thing? How, how do you convince guys that the approach they took last night can be something they can do all the time? Yeah, so, you know, just you know, we, we, we got to keep preaching, preaching it and tell them, hey, today is same, nothing changes. We got to work good at bats, um, you know, but, you know, mainly swing, get, you know, swing and strikes and, hit, you know, try to hit the ball, stay in the middle of the field. Um, we, we're so we're really good when we, when we, when we do that. And uh, the big thing I tell them all the time is, like, you know, we talked this morning a lot about just how, how, much easier our starting pitcher could go out there knowing that you know we got some some part of a lead um and you could go down and relax and uh, so it makes it makes everything a lot easier and puts a lot of pressure on the other team what will you be looking for from trevor today but just attacking the strike zone you know he's he, you know he, he look he's been he's been a workhorse for us as well um but he's got to attack the strike zone you know keep the ball down uh mix all his pitches